So today is auction day and uh, we're gonna be selling all the stuff here behind me. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about it uh, here before we start the auction and then I'll do a wrap up after the auction with the items we're getting ready to sell. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. It's an interesting group today. This is the group that we picked up up near um, Ashland, Ohio. Uh, it was up in Amish country and it was all out of a house. Um, lots of stuff out of here. And all these items in these cases are all from there. An interesting group. There's Tom's peanuts jars in here. There's there's the interesting. I mean, there's there's a bow knot piece right here in Hall. A lot of pottery, some tractors. Just interesting group all the way through. Uh, stoneware. There's steins. There's Oriental items. There's RS Prussia. There's cranberry Fenton pieces. A few oil paintings. Uh, mixed throughout. There's a cast iron doorstop down there. He's cute. That's a fun little cast iron doorstop dog. Um, let me keep going here. We have some stoneware, a lot of stoneware. Uh, interesting, the stoneware's prices are, have been way off compared to the past, but we had a sale a couple weeks ago where, where it did really well. So it'll be interesting to see if it brings a, a lot today or a little bit or what happens with the stoneware. Uh, I love these covered crockery uh, pieces down here. These are fun. Uh, all gray, blue, and gray decorated. Uh, here's some more up through here. RS Prussia. And then these, uh, we put these into sale. These these book for a lot of money. We'll see if they, they do well or not, but Corningware, it's kind of interesting. You just never know how an item's going to sell. Uh, all through here. And all the glass lampshades up. These are all Aladdin lampshades through here. Uh, cut glass pitcher. Kind of unusual to see a blue chimney on an oil lamp. That's a fun piece. The Fenton lamp beside it, pickle casters. And I like this one here with the Victorian fruit on the sides. That's kind of a special pickle caster. Uh, and then all these items, big flow blue pitcher and bowl sells today. Uh, that's got some great quality to it. Uh, down here on the floor, we have some more umbrella stands uh, and pottery. And there's some water coolers, there's some Lance jar there, there's some more Roseville and different things. Uh, this guy's just sitting here thinking, not sure what's going on. Uh, some prints. This is all going up for auction today, everything's starting at a dollar. Uh, pretty cool grouping of stuff overall. And then let's flip sides here. So we also have this Victorian marble top table here that's today. A nice little lamp, there's some... These look like Waterford. I don't know if they are or not, but they're pretty cool pieces with the brass bases. The scales, I really like the scales. Um, this is an item that we used to sell for two two fifty at auction that lately have only been bringing like 60 to 80, but I think they're so undervalued right now. I can see that one you know, being a $500 plus scale. Um, a, lot of, a lot of quilts, including the one with all the signatures on it. That's kind of special. A couple big longer burgers down there. All of these items. And then over here we have a two-wheel coffee grinder. That's kind of fun. Uh, stoneware, there's bronze. Uh, nice rosewood table. This is probably Chinese. Marble top on that one. Another water cooler. Double Fenton oil lamp. I think those are Fenton shades on there on the double oil lamp. It's been electrified at some point. There's another bronze eagle in the back over here. He's cool. Uh, all these items are in today's sale. And then another scale down here with some egrets. And then across the room over here, all of these items are selling today. So, some more Flow Blue, a couple decoys, Fenton Silvercrest. Uh, I like the Sugar Bowl. And we used to sell stuff like this for such money. Uh, I mean, I could get two, two fifty out of a piece like that. And now it's probably gonna bring twenty to forty dollars. Uh, gorgeous Fenton. Uh, let's go up top here. This one here looks like a Rene Lalique lamp. It's got a little bitty spot underneath up here uh, that, that's as found, but it's a cool lamp. Uh, came out of this collection as well. And then all of this art over here came out of the same collection. And what's interesting is all of these items um, came out of a, a Amish country collection. And it was up there and Josh and I picked it up. Uh, we went through the whole house. Uh, we ran out of time and energy and, and uh, we didn't quite get everything that we purchased because it was we were just done. We couldn't do anymore uh, and the truck was full. Um, but it was kind of fun. That's a, This is the collection with that Ford uh, Model T Ford bus or van that we, we had seen. But a pretty cool group overall. I like the the 31 day clock over here, the regulator. That's kind of fun. Here's another object, uh, clocks in general. A great time to invest in these old clocks. They're, they're really down in price, very soft. Clocks like this now bring 50 to 100. We used to bring two to 400. Um, so it's a great time to buy. 
that's just a sneak preview and then after the auction we'll talk about a few items uh, and highlights and things like that um, and yeah so let me see what else is happening here come all any word of the day I was thinking um, yeah I think so uh, be careful what you say to people say nice things because your tongue can be as sharp as a sword there we go. That's a great word of the day. Mamaw is giving us some good words. Lucas is just getting everything started up today, Luke. Any uh, any thoughts for today? Um, no, not that I know. Not to know. Uh, He's been working through whatnot questions right now, and then the yeah. sales getting ready to get started uh, here in the sales room. Silk is up here answering some final emails on proven folks for the sale today. Uh, yeah, you're, you're busy always on a, on, a, on a Thursday before the sale Usually. starts. Usually. <laughs> yeah. People always like to email right before. It would help, though, if they emailed the day before. Then it's really easy to yeah, get back. Yeah, because uh, that's what Hillary does the day before is answer phone calls and questions. So if they come in overnight or that morning, sometimes we have a hard time getting to them. Yeah, sometimes they just so. get missed because we just don't have enough time. Yeah, especially if it's during the auction. Then. Yeah, so if you are if you are interested in bidding and need to know anything about the auction, email ahead of time. Uh, Monday, Monday and Tuesday is the greatest days to email about the catalogs. Uh, even if you email Sunday, we can get them answered Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So, well, usually on Wednesday, Hillary makes sure everything is answered, and yeah, yeah. So by Wednesday, she's usually all caught up on everything at four on Wednesdays. And then Thursday morning <laughs> and then at Thursday. eight a.m. we come in yeah. and another whole stack. That's good. <laughs> right. People are interested, but uh, sometimes right. it just helps if we yeah, get them in early. I mean, we can only answer so much and yep. so much. Okay. Well, we're getting ready to get started. Hey, right here is our secret to the heart of Ohio, fresh baked pies, homemade, uh, just getting delivered here right before the auction started. Figured I better tell you guys about them. If you haven't tried our pies yet, you can't get any better quality pies than right here at Mojo's. All right, guys, we're back here. The sale is now over and uh, we're just getting everything uh, tidied up. Actually, we're getting ready to start a whatnot sale here in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, so the burners.com sale is over. We wanted to talk just a couple minutes about what happened in the sale day, Luke? So we were just, you were just saying even that a lot of the stuff that had little chips and cracks on just didn't do that well, right? Yeah. You know, something I was impressed about with this, was this carnival glass. I think this brought, it's a cream of sugar. I think it brought around like 30 or 40 bucks. I was mm -hmm. surprised by it. Yeah. I've ever seen it. That. It did well. Uh, a couple of things that did do well though, let's talk about it just for a minute. We had a little, a little uh, two wheel coffee grinder right here. That brought $250. And then, what'd you say? The Remington brought three hundred. Oh, this was two seventy five. Two seventy five on the Remington. That was pretty cool. Then this double oil lamp right here brought around two hundred dollar range as well. Mm -hmm. This uh, slide glass lamp was around three hundred, if I'm not mistaken. Then the table was around three hundred. A lot of these coolers only brought like eight to twelve. Uh, one or two of them no, brought 20. twenty. Yeah, this one I think brought ten. This one was twenty. This one brought twenty. Those were just so cheap um, compared to what they used to bring. Caster sets were going from twenty to. That one was expensive. Twenty to forty dollars. Yeah, I think the expensive was, one was up there, wasn't it? Oh, it was one of the caster sets was around forty or fifty bucks. Um, I think this eagle here brought two two fifty ish somewhere in there two seventy five. It was bronze. This Ansonia style clock right here brought two hundred dollars. Maybe it was a Seth Thomas. I don't remember now, but that one brought around $200. Um, let me think here, off the top of my head, Luke, we're just running through stuff here. Uh, a lot of these jardiniers, like this one here was only 20 bucks for that big umbrella stand. That was so, such a great buy. I think it was 20. I don't remember what this one brought. I had to, I left the room when that one sold. I think this toy gun brought 90. Little toy brought $90. Um, the Flow Blue Pitcher and Bull, I think was right at 100. It wasn't, it wasn't that high. We used to sell these for like five and six hundred dollars and that one brought only about a hundred dollars. The two oil lamps, didn't those sell today or was it different ones? I don't know if these sold today. No, it wasn't those. It was different ones. Oh, this one, this one right here, which is just an opalescent top lamp, um, that brought around two hundred dollars for that little organ lamp. The brass and glass ones, I believe, brought ninety. They were in today's sale. Um... Yeah, it was a it was a cross mix of pricing today, wasn't it? It was mm -hmm. kind of some things did really well, and then some didn't do very good. Um, but a lot of interest overall. The Aladdin shades—that's another thing that these brought from like thirty to seventy-five a piece for the most part. And I'm not sure which one was the most expensive, but they I were in that range. Ones were the, the painted ones, and those are pretty cool. 
Those came in with that Aladdin lamp collection, and we just had all these shades left. Oh, that was, the sculpture down here did really good. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was a, a good modernist sculpture, and that brought around 400 was it? Yeah, it was a lot. Around $400, uh, and I'd have to look at the name again, and I don't remember his artist's name. Um, the flow blue at the bottom, the plate stacks were bringing between 40 and 70 a stack for most of them. Uh, but I don't know. Overall, though, it was okay. Uh, the RS Prussia, I thought, did well today. We had one bowl that brought like $80. It was in yeah, blue. Really that good. blue bowl right there brought around $80. Mm -hmm. um, right down there, that blue bowl. Right in there. That's about 80 bucks. But no complaints. Um, we got through how many lots? A thousand lots. Um, and while we were doing that, uh, Lucas and not Lucas, but Josiah and uh, Silka and Hillary were all finishing yesterday the new catalog upload, Mammal. Uh, let's show them what, what uh, Josh brought up today and they photographed today as well. So, all of these lamps and tables all through here, the tables actually are not in the sale, just the lamps are in the sale. We're going to use these tables for showing lamps over the next few weeks, but look at the stunning lamps, uh, all the different shades and different. Man, that's gorgeous. I love that lamp there. This winter scene right here with like a chipped ice shade, that is absolutely stunning. These are all gonna be sold at this week's auction coming up on the burners.com sale, uh, all period lighting. And I think, we're, are we gonna make the, the Huntress lot one? Uh, I thought that's what you said, yeah. I think we're gonna make this one lot one in the group. It's just, it's such a cool piece. Um, and there's, there's some slag glass here. This one I believe is a pair point signed interesting lamps this is a bronze one right here uh, all of this stuff they got up here today and they got photographed and cataloged uh oh i don't the, i don't think this one made it i don't think that's in the catalog right nope yeah okay i didn't think so i think that's the wrong shade on that one i bet josh mismatched that on accident maybe that's how it was in the house i'm not sure anyways luke any other thoughts no, i don't think so all right well let's get it all done to the, let's get a whatnot sale started here all right, Luke, we just got done with a whatnot show. What what happened? What did we sell? Uh, costume and silver. Costume, mostly costume, a few pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. And we sold how many items? 50. 50 items, mostly uh, costume, a little bit of silver. And what, we have 150 so people show up in the show? Yeah, right? There's a, a lot. Little, a little one, over. 180 at one point, I think. 180. And that was just a pop-up. Man, that's pretty cool to be able to do that. And that's yeah. so, uh, so awesome to have the whatnot followers. And if uh, you guys are ever interested in joining one of our whatnot shows, like this is what we sold yesterday on whatnot. Um, it's all been getting packed up today. All these boxes are being packed. Uh, that's all this stuff here. Everything always starts at a dollar and it's just fun stuff. Never know what it's going to bring. We do a lot of different ways. We sell sometimes choice, sometimes sudden death. Uh, just never know. Uh, but uh, that's what we just got done. Any final words to tell everybody, Luke? Uh, well, we're going to bed now. Going to bed now. <laughs> what time is it? Nine. 8.30. We, uh, we're we're It's been a 12-hour day so far. We can go a couple more hours if you want. <laughs> hey, we're just, Lucas just got finished up. He said he's done for the day. You're still in here working, though. He can't keep up with his mama. I haven't moved. Yeah. <laughs> You've been here all day, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Um, but hey, I've got something. Uh, the catalog just went live. The catalog on burners.com yep. it's now up yep oh that's cool so right here guys this is the burners.com catalog uh for next week and you can get on there right now the, you know i get a lot of people that ask silka how do we bid on that stuff can you explain the process okay right now the links on burners.com aren't there yet but the catalogs are available on invaluable and high bid tomorrow i'll put links on our website well that'll so be today already go. so it'll be after four o'clock oh, when okay. they see well this. today they are already, they'll already be there i'll have done this already but there go to burners.com and there are links to bid on high bid and on invaluable we have two different options on high bid you can leave absentee bits before the auction on invaluable you can also leave absentee bits but you can also bid live when the auction is happening on Thursday, um, Invaluable does charge a little bit extra. So kind of decide if you want to do the absentee bits prior or watch it live. But um, yeah, if you have any questions on how to get registered, get a hold of us and we'll help you out. That's cool. So they can uh, uh, get on there, burners.com, B-E-R-N-E-R-S.com. And I mean, I'm just sitting here looking at this like there's a yeah, I'll show you there's a Rolex right watch, there's a one ounce gold coin, there's an incredible is, art glass lamp. This is the old catalog. So this is the old then, catalog. So this is how you get on, right? So which one of those, the top that where it says the, high bid? This one is high bid. That's the one you want to leave absentee bids on. And, and then the yeah. second link down is invaluable link. That's the link that you want to bid live on. 
Right. Um, so if you wanted to bid live, you would click that link. You'll click that link. You click the invaluable link, and it now goes to the live it catalog. This is all catalog. what we sold today. This is but here. If you click to auctions. Oh. You can I was going to say, if you went back, we could see what the sold prices were on some of that, but ah, that's okay. Well, well this yeah. is this is coming up, guys. This is your this is first glance at this week's catalog. Great stuff. Look at the art glass, the silver, the gold, the Navajo weaves. This is like a premier quality sale, uh, as good as there is anywhere. Uh, Rolex watches. Wow, this is a great way to preview. Go a little bit slower, maybe. There's so much stuff on there. I love it. This is like a, a, a first look at the catalog. That was page one that of like page 20 one. pages. Uh, page one of 19 pages, I think, or something like that. Right, Let's go page two one more time. That was kind of fun. So here you go. Two. When you go to page two, this is what you're seeing. And look at the work, guys. Incredible loads. Uh, looks like Tiffany on the right. I don't know if it is or not. There's silver in there. There's leaded glass lamps, period ones. Favril feathered vase Lundberg. That's cool. Reverse painted stuff. Italian glass, carnival glass, sterling, gold, reverse painted uh, iced etched shade there, Navajo jewelry. Uh, this is the coolest thing we've done in a while, Silk. We should have done this before. Auction preview uh, on the computer. Look at that floor lamp. Wow, that shade is so incredible. So that's all they have to do, right? Right. Burners.com. Burners.com. Guys, we're gonna call that an evening. I know this video might be a little shorter than others, but uh, man, it's been a long day. We've been working hard. We sold a thousand lots on our burners.com catalog and then another 50 lots Lucas and I just did on whatnot. And we're gonna call it a night. Blessings to everybody out there. Thanks for watching our stuff. We've got more to come uh, tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow will be Saturday for you, but Friday for me. So I'll be filming here at the Antique Center. We've got two whatnot shows we'll have some video from. I'll do some sold bins. Uh, and then Saturday, who knows what's going to happen on a Saturday. It's always crazy around here at the heart of Ohio, America's biggest and best antique center. And we're right now in the back at the auction gallery, burners.com. Uh, join us. God bless. And thanks. Uh, thanks again. We're, we're so humbled for you guys to continue to watch these videos. It's pretty awesome experience.